Hello and welcome to ST's discussion regarding asset tracking with SensorTile.box and the NFC sensor tag in the industrial and medical space. Asset tracking is a rather broad term and can be anything from shipping containers, parcels, luggage, food and medicines, tools and utensils, as well as livestock, pets, and many other things. Having knowledge of an asset status is critical to providing safe transport of products, such as critical medical items, including medicines, vaccines, blood products, and even organs. In the industrial space, the knowledge of the accurate location of the high value assets and the ability to determine the utilization of these assets, in turn, can help determine the best return on investment for these assets. To create a low power versatile asset tracking node, that can provide this type of information in an efficient manner requires extensive use of motion and environmental sensors as well as low power communications. In the next few slides, we'll examine the development boards that ST offers for sensor evaluation to accomplish this. Asset tracking as a general term can encompass different scenarios for each application, but with those different scenarios, there's a lot of commonality in the tracking device components to accomplish the task. Whether we're considering tracking high value medical assets in a hospital, or a one-time use disposable tracker, sensors will be critical in providing the power efficiency necessary. Let's look in more detail from the technology standpoint at the requirements for each type of asset tracking application. Our goal is to make these applications smarter and to choose the optimal set of processing, sensors, connectivity, and power management for the task. Each type of asset tracking application will have specific requirements and ST can address all of these variants thanks to our huge portfolio of sensors. Let's focus on sensing and connectivity technology and consider a package containing food beverages or medical pharmaceutical items. If a package was to contain perishable food items, then temperature and humidity monitoring are relevant and the low power, low cost MCU and RF should be used, uh, NFC as, is, as an example. In the medical field, organ transplant shipments require monitoring of environmental and physical conditions such as temperature, pressure, humidity, light, vibration, motion, that are experienced by the organs. As the asset value increase, also the investment in the sensor node can be higher and a wider set of sensors and Bluetooth technology uh, connectivity can be the optimal choice. ST has all the key elements to address such asset tracking solutions to ensure product integrity. And I'll present in the next couple of slides two eval boards uh, options that are great fit for these use cases. One of our more versatile development boards is the SensorTile.box. This evaluation platform consists of an assortment of useful sensors, including a six axis inertial measurement unit, or IMU, two different three axis accelerometers, a three axis magnetometer, an absolute pressure sensor, temperature sensor, relative humidity sensor, and an analog wide band MEMS microphone, all controlled by an STM32L4 Cortex M4 microcontroller, communicating via ST's Bluetooth low energy module and powered by a lithium polymer rechargeable battery. The sensor tile dot box has three operating modes to let you explore the use of sensors through the STBLE sensor app wizard in entry and expert mode, both of which require no software coding uh, to, to be used, or with the available STM32 cube function packs in the professional mode. Specifically for asset tracking, a dedicated software package is also available called FP-ATR-BLE1. This software package includes support for pressure, relative humidity, temperature and accelerometer sensors, and offers a complete application example on how to create an asset tracking application with communication over Bluetooth low energy and options to record events like tilt and orientation change or record, record excursions of temperature and humidity outside a certain range. If instead you would like to develop a simpler and lower cost asset tracking device for packages containing food and beverages, ST's NFC sensor tag with its NFC dynamic tag can be the right option. The ultra low power sensor node evaluation board mounts an ST25DV NFC tag, an STM32L0 low power Cortex M0 microcontroller, various environmental sensors including temperature, humidity, and pressure, as well as an accelerometer motion sensor. The system is powered by a CR2032 battery or alternatively can be supplied by the NFC harvesting feature. This smart and flexible kit includes a dedicated software package, FP-SNS-SmartTag1, with a sample application to monitor and log sensor data over NFC from a smartphone. 
Visualizing this process is much easier, so we'd like to show you a quick demo on how to get easy access to the data from the sensors. This can be performed either using the sensor tile dot box or the NFC sensor tag referenced in the previous slides, along with the ST Asset Tracking smartphone app acting as a gateway to the DSH Asset Tracking cloud application powered by AWS. The dashboard, together with the app, simplifies the process of creating the IoT things in the cloud with the appropriate certificates to establish a secure connection to the AWS. Thank you. On the dashboard, let's navigate on the top left menu and log in with your Google account. As you see, no devices are present. On the smartphone, here mirrored on the screen, let's open the ST Asset Tracking app and tap on the cloud icon to also log in. Nothing to see here also. Let's go back to the main menu and tap on the Bluetooth icon. Allow Bluetooth access to the app and let's press the user button on the sensor tile box to start advertising. You see now ATB underscore 100, that is the default name for the sensor tile running this function pack. We can now configure our tracker based on sensor tile box. Let's set the sensor reading to one minute. We can now add the features and triggers to the tracker. For example, temperature greater than 30 degrees Celsius. Humidity greater than 50%. Adding a wake-up interrupt based on shock greater than 2G. And finally, a detection of a tilt event. Next, let's hit the save button and the sensor toggle box will disconnect and start logging. Let's focus now on the sensor tile feed on the bottom right of the screen. Every time that an event is triggered, a blue light is blinking. Back on the application, let's tap on the Bluetooth icon and press the user button on the sensor tile box to connect it to the app. I will now move to the data tab and as you see, the collected data are now being transmitted to the app. The app will ask if we want to sync cloud data. Let's tap on OK. Next. I need to give a unique name to my tracker, in this case ST underscore DevCon. The app is now communicating with the AWS cloud and creating a thing associated to the sensor tile box in my account and exchanging the security certificates to guarantee the uniqueness of my tracker. Once connected, the upload phase starts and the data now residing on the phone are being transferred to the cloud. There you go, uploaded, completed. And as you can see, we can visualize directly on the app both the sensor data and the alerts triggered by events. Let's go back now on the browser. I click on Devices and refresh the browser status. As you can see now, the thing stdevcon is available and the same data we've seen on the smartphone, now augmented with the location data from the phone, can be accessed from anywhere. I'll now leave the sensor tile box acquiring data for a couple of hours. Let's go back on the dashboard and this time let's click on telemetry. We can select the stdevcon sensor tile box and the feature of interest with this time frame. Let's click then on the events and again select the stdevcon for the last three hours. We can observe here all the events triggered, wake up and tilt. Let's move to the NFC sensor tag now. I can tap on the phone with it to establish initial communication and configuration and then move on the data tab to transfer the data to the phone first and to the cloud later. Also, in this case, I need to create a name for the thing and sync cloud data. Let's refresh the dashboard and here is my NFC sensor tag now visible. Let's click on it and here's the sensor data augmented with the geographic location. Thank you.